So it's official. Instagram is no longer a photo sharing app. Don't believe me? Well, we're no longer a photo sharing app. There you go, straight from the horse's mouth. I know, this really sucks. But wait, there's great news coming up right now. If you're in the boat, either as one of two types of people, like a photographer who's decided to ride the ways of change and adapt to more video-based content to keep your brand alive, or a new TikTok or Instagram creator looking to take advantage of the latest trends, this video is tailor-made for you. Now, here's my disclaimer. Don't be discouraged if you don't have Final Cut Pro 10.4.9 or higher because there's ways around that. So stick around and I'll let you in on a little secret. Boy, I tell you, there's always more than one way to skin a but Let's get to it. Oh, I almost forgot this little riddle for you. What's free to do and is helpful to me and you? Now with these new social media platforms and added editing software capabilities, there are two main instances where you might want to use this feature. The first is when you're repurposing previous 16 by nine or widescreen projects already edited in a project timeline that you want to now upload to Instagram and or TikTok. For that, you will select the project, right click it and select duplicate project as. Click the video option scroll down and click vertical or square. Click smart conform, then click okay. Your computer will take the time to analyze the clicks and in a matter of seconds, presto change -o. Your video is now ready for IG and TikTok. The second instance is when you're working with 16 by nine video clips and you want to edit them directly into a vertical or square format in a brand new project. For this, you just create a new project, click custom settings, select vertical or square, and click OK. When you're done editing your clips, select all, command A, or just dragging the mouse over all the clips. Then go into your menu settings, up top, click modify, smart conform, and now your video is fully vertical. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Because these clips were originally shot in a widescreen format, the main focus or focal point might end up outside of the frame. So here's how you would correct that. Overscan view will help you to reframe your footage by giving you the control to see portions of video that are out of frame and then reposition them smoothly using keyframing tools. First off, let's change our view to 12.5%. Now go through your footage and pick out any videos that need repositioning. Click the overscan button to see video outside of the cropped area. You can either click the transform tool and move the clip around accordingly, or you can select the clip and place the playhead at the beginning. Click the keyframe button and these buttons on the side here will turn yellow. Press play until you reach the portion that you want to be in frame that's currently not. And then when you get to that point, stop and then drag that part of the clip into the frame. Click done and now your video looks like this. So remember earlier when I said there are still ways that you can create vertical videos even if you don't have Final Cut Pro 10.4.9 or higher? Well if you can't afford or don't have fancy editing software, you'll just have to think ahead and shoot everything vertically ahead of time straight out of camera. Now you might be wondering how do you do that exactly? Click this video right here, right now, and follow the instructions in the description of that video. What are you waiting on? Get to it.